Hey there, Xavier Nation, and welcome to another edition of The People of Xavier. I'm here with uh, Linda Schoenstedt, uh, faculty member and chair of the uh, faculty committee this year. Linda, you're coming up on the end of year two as your term as faculty chair. Tell us a little bit about what the last couple of years have been like um, and what you've learned through the process. I've learned that I need a vacation very, very soon. Um, it, it's been a... Um, I think what I've been able to tell faculty committee and I think what they're beginning to realize as well is that until you have the opportunity to work with administration and staff, um, a lot of times you don't know really all the things that are going on at the university. And so this has put me in a very unique position to be able to appreciate what staff does and the administration. Is there any uh, one or two things that you might point to and say, boy, I was awfully proud that we were able to uh, make something happen or an accomplishment or bringing people together in any way? Oh, yes. Uh, faculty committee has worked really hard. One of the things I was proud of is that when I, when I took the position, I said I wanted to complete some things. So we've completed uh, and just voted on the non-tenure track faculty. Um, they'll have a a path to promotion and a reward structure now for all those folks who are clinical instructors and instructors, academic support staff. And uh, so now that goes to the president and to the board and we're very confident that, that that's going to be approved as well as funded, which is also very important. And another thing that we were working on was academic program health. And that was a piece that uh, several faculty were charged with uh, to try and find um, some metrics and put together a, a uh, a database, a you know dashboard, if you will, just to see, you know, what's going on in our in our programs that would help inform, you know, the deans and the department chairs how, how to make academics even a better experience for our students. That's good. Uh, now moving as co-chair of the provost search with John Kusha, um, what would you say are the characteristics of the provost that you think you and the committee will be looking for um, as you begin this process? Well, I think we need someone to come in and be a bridge between staff and faculty and our students as well as the administration. Um, I think that individual is going to have to be forward thinking. You know, this is, these are difficult times for higher education right now with regard to budgets, um, pr program offerings, you know, what do we grow, what, what don't we grow? And I think those are, we're going to have to have someone who is a visionary um, and who I think also is very collegial in, in uh, their process and in, in how they you know, develop some, some of their goals. And so, um, you know, it'll be a, a great experience, I think, for that person coming in. I think Xavier has righted the ship, if you will. And uh, I, I think there's good things ahead for us. Good. Linda, our lightning round now. Outside of Xavier, you most like to? Garden. Garden. Uh, favorite class that you like to teach here at the university? I like my sport ethics class. Oh, very good. Uh, best thing that makes sort of Xavier, Xavier? I'd probably get in trouble for this, but I'm still going to say I love our athletics programs. Oh, that's awesome. There you have it. Uh, Dr. Linda Schoenstedt, uh, chair of the faculty committee, co-chair of the provost search committee. Uh, thanks for joining us again, Xavier Nation, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, Linda. You're welcome, Doug.